Books of Movie Lovers, I'm Edgar Perez, and since it is the end of the year of 2017, going on to 2018, I thought it would be fun to make a Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline that isn't super long. So let's get right into it with the first phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting off with the first film, Captain America, the first Avenger. And as the title suggests, he is the first Avenger. He is the first superhero of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Moving right into the next one is actually Captain Marvel, which is set to release in March 8, 2019. And it's actually not part of phase one, it's part of phase three of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So when it releases, that would be the next movie since it's set in the 90s. The next film you should watch after watching First Avenger is actually Iron Man. And this is where Tony Stark gets abducted and this is where he develops that whole new machine to fight bad guys. Now this is where things start to get a little tricky because right after this, you could either watch The Incredible Hulk or Iron Man 2. I prefer just going right into Iron Man 2 and then watch The Incredible Hulk. Now, Incredible Hulk is actually part of the main Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's probably my least favorite of all of them. Moving right into the next film is Thor, and this is where Thor loses his abilities to, ha to be worthy of the hammer. Finally, right after Thor, we finally get all the heroes together in the first The Avengers film. This is our closing of Phase 1 and starting into Phase 2 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting with Iron Man 3 and this is where p people get upset because we get the villain Mandarin but it's not really Mandarin so yeah it pissed people off. The next film you should watch is actually Thor The Dark World. Little side note it's actually the worst rated movies of all the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Coming up on number 10 on the list is actually Captain America and the Winter Soldier and this is where we're introduced to Bucky as the Winter Soldier and Captain America trying to save him. And in my opinion, this is the best one of the Captain America arc stories. Moving on to the next one with a more comedic relief and probably one of my favorites is actually Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. This one's completely different than all the others because it's a group of like rebels banging together to save the universe. And it's set so far apart from the rest of the Marvel Universe. The next one to watch is actually Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 because it only happens three months after the prior first one. Side note, this isn't part of Phase 2, this is Phase 3 of the Marvel Universe. Timeline, it would be here though. The next film you should watch after Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is The Avengers Age of Ultron. And of course, this is where Tony Stark's tech starts having a mind of its own because of the mind, the mind gem. And this is where we get the new character Vision. The next film you should watch is Ant-Man. And of course, Ant-Man, as the title refers, is the superhero of a man able to shrink himself into a small little ant person. Starting off with the phase three of MCU is actually the film Captain America Civil War. And even though it is a Captain America film, it feels more like another Avengers film since there's so many new characters involved, such as Black Panther. A quick note on Civil War is that it's actually eight years after the first Avengers film. The next film you should watch is actually two months after Captain America Civil War and that is Spider-Man Homecoming and by far it's the best Spider-Man I have seen that relates closely to the comic books. On number 17 I picked Doctor Strange even though half of the film, not half, probably parts of the film happened before Civil War, the rest of the film happens after Civil War. So it's, it's in the same timeline as Spider-Man Homecoming. Coming up on the 18th spot and our last film that's most up to date is Thor Ragnarok and it's probably the best Thor, probably it is the best Thor movie out of the other two. It's funny, I still have to watch it, but it's the last one in the timeline so far. A quick note on Thor Ragnarok is that it actually takes place two years after Avengers Age of Ultron. The next upcoming MCU films are Black Panther. Release date in February 16, 2018, which is actually close to my birthday. Next is Avengers Infinity War Part 1, May 4th, 2018. The trailer for that was amazing, even though their CGI is still, you know, they're working on it. They made a whole bunch of memes of, of Thanos. Next will be Ant-Man and the Wasp, release date in July 6, 2018. And after that will be 
Avengers Infinity War Part 2, May 3rd, 2019. And as stated way, way, way in the beginning of the video, Captain Marvel will be releasing in March 18, 2019. So now that I gave you all of this information, let's do a quick recap of all the films you should watch, starting with number one, Captain America the First Avenger, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, The Incredible Hulk, Thor, The Avengers, Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Captain America The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America Civil War, Spider-Man Homecoming, Doctor Strange, and Thor Ragnarok. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it this far into the video, hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like or dislike it, whatever works for you. And peace out, movie lovers.